I started Pegasus Interferon for the third time. Three times a charm, right? Three times. So, I am gonna let you know. I'm here in Chennai, India, loving it, seeing family, and just happy to be here. Very, very, very fortunate. And I'm gonna let you know how I was able to take the Pegasus because I got cleared to come here because my liver had kind of stabilized and now they said you got to get back on the medicine as I panic no but yes but no but yes the third time I'm on it okay so I'm back here I'm back in the medicine game what we did is just before I was uh, about to I don't know finish packing on the way here my doctor had her nurse call me and tell me, hey, you will start your Pegasus again. And I said, oh, but I'm flying to India. Okay, we can do this. And she's like, okay. And I said, perfect. Mind you, I may have sounded calm, but it doesn't mean there wasn't panic and hesitation and like, oh, maybe I could skip it another couple weeks or this or that. But then I thought, no, I'm following doctor's orders. I'm doing the very best I can. And if this can finally work for me, bless I need it I want it to work so three times right <laughs> so now I'm on my third start what I did is I had a very little amount of time to get the stuff and uh, pack up luckily it was for Christmas that we were leaving so everyone was doing like the one day shipping I'm like yes 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 I looked it up online a lot of people had used insulin products which is amazing and sorry diabetes people like that sucks I hated diabetes but I'm glad that they have these containers and that we can use some of the similar things I looked it up and um, they have it's a little container there's two little ice packs you put on the outer ends and then you put your stuff in you put in your um, the pre-filled syringe and then the needles and the alcohol and whatnot. One thing I did notice is that if you put these pre-filled syringes in, just like jam it that way, it's hard to get out. So I actually, I did a preview video before I left so you could see how to put it in there without jamming your uh, syringe in there. So the cool thing is, is now I was able to get that overnight, have everything frozen, the ice packs and ready. I laid it out. And I made a little video, so I'm gonna put it here so you can watch while I talk. So that was great. Um, on top of that, I got nervous. Um, and mind you, I did think, you know, I could do an insulated container with ice or this or that, but I was in panic mode. Like I am trying really, really hard. So I went with like distinctly medicine. I went with like what people have used before for medicine because ee, I'm not fiddling with this. So I did, I got that, I put my medicine in, I had it in the container, and then I panicked and I put it in another container over it and put another ice pack on the outer area. Packed it in, heavy, huge pain. For syringes that are about this big, I was carrying a thing like this big, but I'm not messing around, right? So then we go, um, Everything was great. I, I made myself like five notes, pack, Pegasus, and this is very last minute, so I have them all over. And so I had the syringes, everything ready. I had those in the fridge still, and then I had the, the ice packs, and I just packed it last minute, and we're good. We go to the airport. The airline said, is there anything we need to know? And I said, yes, actually, could you um, let them know I do have medicine on me, and it needs to be refrigerated. Could we work with that? Of course, she was like, yeah, we can do that. We can totally work with that. So I was like, cool. So she let them know. So when we went in, got in our seats, they came over to me and my husband and they said, okay, did you guys have medicine? We're like, yes. And I said, listen, it's huge. So, you know, it's not insulin. It's actually something else. And they're about that big if you need to take it out and put it in. And they're like, no, no, we got it. So it was in the plane. When we actually landed, um, we landed in Qatar, it was um, it was cool. It wasn't frozen still, you know, like around. It was still cool though, so cool enough to keep going, which I was very proud of. So that was good for me. Then we had another flight. <laughs> this time I didn't ask them to put it in the fridge because I don't know that they actually did because it didn't feel like it had been cold from the outside. 
So that was my thing. If they're gonna do it in the fridge, you may want it in smaller packaging because I don't know that they actually did on mine. So then what I did is the next flight, I just held it with me, no big deal. As soon as we got to India, my father-in-law came and got us and we went to their place. Before anything, I cleaned up my belly and I gave myself an injection because my theory is if I'm gonna feel like crap from jet lag and I have to start this medicine anyhow and I've gotta correlate it with the time in America, my closest bet was as soon as we landed and got to their house. So about three something in the morning, <laughs> I took the injection and they were amazing. They let me just kind of clean it. In fact, so here's what I did. This is the bottle from the plane. I kept the syringe in this. And one thing I noticed on planes, they had a little syringe container thing. You could throw your stuff away. I'm saving this so I can just throw it. I didn't bring a sharps container because I'm not, that, they're huge. So I do have this from the first night I was here. Tonight I'm due for another injection. I'm not looking forward to it, but I am, but I'm not. I think everyone kind of knows how I feel. Um, here's the garbage that I had from the first night. I am taking it with me, like mushing it together. I don't want to bother everyone else with it, so I'm kind of compacting it, throw it away when I leave, and use the syringe deposit thing on the plane, which will be awesome. Um, that will be so nice. So that was really cool for me. Um, I was able to get it done. How am I feeling back on Pegasus? Dizzy, dizzy and sick, same. Um, super lightheaded, every day I've been asking my husband, hey, can you help me walk? Hey, can you help me walk? When I eat food, which I'm eating a lot, I'm loving it. Um, I'm super dizzy and I'm like, honey, you just, you gotta help me walk. And it's just, I don't wanna tumble on people. It's not that I'm like so weak to fall. But again, I'm feeling nauseous, all the same. Same but different, and I, as I stated before, if you ask someone with a chronic illness or something, you know, how are you feeling? What are different symptoms? Ask me in five minutes, and then five minutes, and then five minutes. So no, I'm not feeling great back on it. Definitely not. Um, just been feeling sick, dizzy. Um, not good. Not good on it, but I'm feeling really good on like trying. You know what I mean? I think that's the thing is like you get used to. Yeah, I feel like crap, but let me live so that's kind of where i'm at um i'm grateful for pegasus because i really need this to work and i'm i like keep telling myself two years in two years i think it's crazy but sometimes you got to tell yourself stuff anyhow tonight is my second injection again on my third time of pegasus pray it's a good one and i don't get more sick because i'm sick of being sick and one 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 more thing, um, I don't know if other people get this, and it's been happening a lot more just this week um, after this one, <clears throat> but I always tell my husband, and it sounds weird, and I even Googled it, and I'm not seeing anything, I don't know, but it feels like my hips drain when I take my medicine. It's, I don't know how else to explain it, and I'm telling him all the time, like, how oh, my hip is draining, and it hurts, and it's got the inner bruises, and then it finally goes to a bruise. Like today, it's finally in the bruised state on my side, and I feel better. Like I'd rather the bruised state, which I think everyone with PV, you're kind of used to the bruises, but um, it does this draining, and it's so weird. I don't know if other people get that, and I don't know what it is, and I don't know. That's my side note. I'm wishing you all health and happiness. That's how I traveled with the Pegasus. It is pretty decent. Um, I will let you know any follow-ups on that, and I'm wishing you all. Wishing you all health and happiness and a happy new year. Mm -hmm.